Okay, guys, so in preparation for our trip to Tremont, why don't you guys tell me something about black bears? They black. Um, <laughs> don't black bears like eat bamboo? What, is that them? No, no. no. I'm pretty sure they literally eat children. <laughs> children? Yeah. Oh, Alright. Uh, don't they run like 60 miles an hour or so? Wait, wait, wait. Y'all, y'all, let's just go down to the smoke to figure this stuff out. Alright. All right. Sounds like a good plan. Well, y'all definitely came to the right place to learn a little bit more about black bears. There's a very healthy population here in the Smoky Mountains. But that hasn't always been the case. In fact, black bears almost went extinct in these mountains some years ago. And they also face a very uncertain future due to several threats, some of them involving us. And it's interesting to think, being in these mountains, if the black bear could tell its own story, what might that look like? Hold on a second, we, we need to set the story straight. Our species once was mighty, but we vanished at a scary rate. The hunter, he is waiting for me just outside the park. My home's been invaded by some wild boars that came from afar. We almost disappeared some years ago. The longer times didn't help a bit. And between the roads and big cities, our homes just keep on vanishing. We're trying hard to stay on track. And by the time springtime comes, and our clothes are running round, we make life go on. That's right. We are the best. Our population is higher. must go on. The bears started eating acorns cause the chestnuts were all gone. But the acorn rations are slimmer cause some years oaks don't deliver. deliver. And the bears will die before the spring starts without fat reserves for the winter. The wild boar competing with the symbol of the Smokies. The black bear population is affected by our choices. That's right. We are the best. Population it is higher. Our population is higher. Which is 
Population is higher. The future is brighter.